Uh, we will learn now how to generate uh, cake PHP applications from existing databases. But before we start to do it, let's test if uh, everything is well configured in our system. So first start with CMD and test if you see PHP. Okay. Everything is okay. I use uh, PHP 5636. Uh, don't install on Windows 10 the version 7 of PHP with XAMPP because uh, you will have problems with installing some modules. If you use Windows 7, then the version 7 of PHP also works well. Uh, I will use this PHP in order to generate our application and also I will use it to start my composer if you have your composer installed on your system then you will just use just composer command uh, if you don't see php you will need to add the bin subdirectory of php in xamp um, inside of your path variable or the system variable okay we have our php installed now start XAMPP, start in fact, uh, start in, in fact uh, Apache and MySQL. I have my XAMPP installed in the C drive. Okay, let's start the XAMPP control and start Apache and start MySQL. If you do it for the first time, uh, after login, the system will ask you if you enable to start this, this, this process, just click OK. Okay, close this. Our system, our XAMPP is working now, Apache and MySQL. So now we will need to have a database from which we will uh, generate our, our application. So open your browser and go to localhost. Then click off PHP my admin and we will create a new database i will call it gene cake let me generate from this database my my application choose the encoding utf8 mb4 general ci and then create it okay we have our gen cake database click on it and now i will import i have it on my desktop here you see this is this gen cake sql i will import it uh, in the description you will see them you will see them uh, link to this uh, to this file you can use it also so open and then go Okay, we generated, and as you see, I have here in this database four tables, articles, authors, and tags, and then also articles, tags. So as you can imagine, in article, I have connection to the authors. In articles, I have author ID. You see, this database is uh, follow the, the convention of, of, of cake databases. Then when you go to authors, the structure is very simple. And tax, the structure is also very simple. But then we have tax articles because there is a many-to-many -many connection between articles and tax. One tax can be... Uh, connected with several articles and one articles can belong to, to several tags. So you have this in the middle table, which connects articles and, and um, tags. So I will use this database in order to generate my application. So, but before we, before we start, we will need to create our application. So cake to cake php.org and then sorry, click on download and you see how we create cake php application you can use the first line with 
composer far or if you have composer installed you can use this far or maybe only this part think about it when you copy it to change the name of your application so let's copy it first and we will go to the main directory of our Apache so it means go to XAMPP then go to htdocs as you can see here i have the composer far file which i will use to generate my application you see here you see this composer far in the command line uh, i will just create this application here we will need to open the command line here and if you are using uh, the windows 10 professional then you can just click shift and rise right mouse uh, click and you see here open shell window here if you are on non-professional version of um, non-professional version of uh, windows 10 you will see here open command line here or you can also do the following you can click here i will lost the command for creating application but don't worry just sorry uh, write c m d open the command prompt and then execute cd to the to the directory and you are in hdocs i will use maybe this window here uh, but i will need to copy the line one more time go here and just paste it here uh, change the name of the application i would call this gen cake and enter if you have composer installed on your system you can just call composer create project preferred distribution cake application and cake gen cake or whatever you want to have as a name of your application so wait a second we will install it <clears throat> it takes a second if you do it for the second or next time the system will not download the libraries it will just uh, use the cache from the previous time And then at the end just press enter so our application is installed just to test if it works go to your browser and try it localhost slash the name of your application and you see everything is okay but okay the database is not configured at this moment this is display so we will need to configure first our database you can do it uh, just going to the gen cake to config and to up php you can just open it with any uh, editor and change the setting but i will just show you how to open this application in netbeans so i have here netbeans installed let me start in admins. Uh, 
I will close this window for a second. I will use this window later, but I will open it. So I will open NetBeans. And think about it, the project which you created is not a NetBeans project. This is just cake project or cake application. So let's open this uh, new created uh, project in NetBeans. So we click on file, but then not open project because we don't have uh, any NetBeans project. New project, then PHP, PHP application from existing sources, then next, then browse and just go to the C drive, to XAMPP, to htdocs, and then choose your application and open and then finish. Uh, let's close the index, we don't need it. And then we go to not sources to config, to up PHP to the line about 260. Here you have, you have line 246 data sources just change to the existing username. So the standard for XAMPP on Windows is root. The password is empty. And the database, this is the database which we created before. As you see here, this is the database again cake. So let's change it. So if you are using Mac or uh, or Linux computer, the password for the user root is, is, is by default root. So save it one more time. And now let's go to our cake application one more time, refresh, and we will see that the database is configured well. So now we can go and generate the whole application. So first we need to go to the directory with our application. And this is XAMPP, hdocs. Can cake. This is the, this directory, and I need to open my command line here. So one more time, Shift right right mouse click and open PowerShell here, or I'll just do it in the way which works for everybody. Just click in the address bar, copy the address, then open CMD and write CD. Can cake. This is it. We are inside of our GAN cake application. So now I would like to generate my uh, application. So for this, I need to know what are the names of our of our uh, tables. So if you are not able to memorize, we can, for example, in the in the uh, on the cake page go to tutorials and examples and then you will see uh, to, 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 uh, where is it uh, imagine. No. okay just search for for example cake php and there is a tutorial uh, this is blog there is a blog tutorial so this is the blog tutorial click on this blog tutorial and then you will see how we can create uh, or how we can uh, generate applications just scroll down go to the second part scroll down scroll down scroll down and then see you see here this is how we can create this is only for models but we'll make everything so let's do it now on our computer it will, it will look very similar so first just write php then in the bin subdirectory there is a cake php uh, 
file. So let's see here in bin subdirectory, we have this cake PHP. I'll just execute this file. So write bin That's one, not this one, Windows. Cake PHP. And so let's click here and return to see what we have. Then we need to write bake. Then, because we want to uh, create the whole application also with the visual part, this is only how you can create the model. So I will just write here all. And our first database, let's see here, was articles. So write articles. Articles. Mm. Articles. Okay, and enter. Ah, uh, we created the whole application for articles. Then generate it for authors. And do the same with tags. This is it. And our application is ready. So let's go to your application there. And then, of course, when you just uh, write the address uh, of your application, you will get this, this information page. But let's go to, to articles. And then this is your application. You can create new article. Of course, you are not able because you are not able to add a stack. So we can, for example, create a new author. And this is John. And then, for example, let's go to list of articles, create a new tag, PHP. And then new article. And then we have a new article. So you see here, we can edit, we can view this article. Let's go back. We can edit this article. It works. And then we can delete. And you see also cake, bake also this, 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 this confirmation. So I will just click on cancel. So at this moment, our application is ready. What is to do now? You can write the visual part of your application. So, okay, for example, when you go to the articles controller, yes, and in articles controller, for example, in index, you have this functionality how to read uh, data from the database and it's just uh, prepare the articles variable for you view. Uh, here is also pagination. So you have the data and you work is now to prepare the visual part. So you go to templates, articles and index. And this is the index and you see there are a lot of things. For example, this is the navigation panel on the left hand side. Yes. So this is, you see, this is this panel. So we can do something or maybe you will just delete it. Let's see. I don't know what, what will happen, but let's try. You see, you don't use it, you delete it and it works. Let's let's go back here. Control Z. So if you don't want this visualization, you see here they, they use table. Yes, for 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 elements in in your application. I forgot to save it. Yes. So if you don't like table, use anything else what you want. But what is important here in this uh, in this template, you have prepared this articles variable with all information about articles. So just change the visualization and maybe write a little bit more of your code. Okay, this is all. Thank you very much.